Hello YouTube, welcome to my review of the SH Figure Arts Silver Fang Zero from the Tokusatsu show Garo. Now for those of you who have not seen the show, Zero is the second Makai Knight introduced in the show and uh, I have to say he's a lot more aggressive than Garo was. Garo is more get it done fast and effectively. Zero is the more I'm gonna cram my swords down your throat kinda of character and uh, his original story arc was he wanted revenge because he thought Garo killed his adoptive family of course Garo didn't because Garo's a good guy so uh, he soon finds that out and he starts fighting the right guy but uh, I've always liked the wolf design in this uh, armor and it definitely carries over well to a SH Figure Arts action figure. So, let's get on to this review. For head articulation, his head can go this far down, this far up, it can go side to side a little bit, and rotate 360 degrees. Just watch out for his chin. Make sure it doesn't clip anything and there you go or torso articulation he can go this far down a good bit back he can lean side to side and twist that much to each side and I'll go ahead and take the time to mention that this is a loose piece for arm articulation the shoulder pad can be brought up pull the arm down a little bit if you want to get it up higher because the was its collarbone piece right here is just in the way <laughs> but can go that far up the arm does rotate 360 degrees there's a ball in there so it rotates like that the arm can rotate 360 degrees below the shoulder the elbows are double jointed but they only get a little, little bit above a 90 degree bend because of all the armor clanging together the hand is on a ball joint so it rotates 360 degrees and it swivels at the joint and if you pull it out a little bit then bend it you can get the wrist to move a little bit more and the legs now this is where the armor really hinders articulation especially right up here with the hips but they are the type 1 figure arts hips so they can be brought down on a stem and I'll go ahead and show you the split he can do that's it because the armor is hitting the belt. Now if these armor panels were not there, he could do a full split, I'm sure. But they are there, so that's about as much as you can get. He does have a thigh swivel. Get about that far. The legs go that far forward, again because of the armor. They are hindered. That far back. The knees are double jointed. Nothing really hindering it here. It goes as far as the joint allows. Nothing is actually touching. The feet are die cast and they will rotate 360 degrees. Just watch out. Make sure these pieces don't hit each other. The foot will only bend about that much. Kind of sad. The hinge in there is rather limited but you can offset it by moving the foot back and forward this way and it'll go to the other side a little bit too goes this far down that far up and the toe is on a hinge but because of the armor it doesn't go up very much so he is extremely limited in the legs but he still looks awesome. 
four accessories. Let's start with the hands. He comes with a pair of fists. A pair of sword holding hands. And a pair of open palm hands. What's really cool about his hands are that this armor piece is part of the hand and not part of the arm. So it offers a little bit more articulation in the wrist than if this was attached to the arm. And his last two accessories are his swords. Really nicely painted. And of course the old gimmick is these two swords can combine. This one has a peg, this one has a hole, and you just combine them and get his double sword. Looks really cool. And here's a little comparison between Zero and Garo. As you can see, they are in scale with each other. Garo is a, supposed to be a little bit bigger, and he is. So, Ben did a really good job on that. And I have to say, they look great together. Final thoughts. SH Figure Arts Silver Fang Zero is an excellent action figure. Yes, the articulation is hindered by the armor, but I would rather have a less poseable, show accurate figure than a figure that takes liberties with the armor just to make the articulation better. So it is a trade off, but that should not uh, keep you from buying this guy. However, something that might keep you from buying him is the price. Now, this is a Tamashi Web exclusive, therefore, inherently expensive on the second-hand market. And this guy is even more expensive than your average Kamen Rider release because not as many people know about the, the show Garo compared to Kamen Rider, so not as many people pre-ordered him, therefore not as many people will be selling him. But uh, I got this guy for $65 after shipping, which is an extremely cheap price for this guy because I've already seen him go for 80 dollars plus shipping on eBay and Amazon. So get this guy why he's still quote unquote cheap because the price is only going to go up if you wait. So with that, I'll see you at the next review.